You need to stop playing small when you are destined for greatness. The word of the day, the word of the year is audacious. We need to be audacious so we can reach our goals and there's no reason not to be. Before we begin the video, I want to start by defining audacious because that is what we're going to be working towards here. Audacious means being bold, daring, willing to take risks and go against conventional norms to reach your ambitious goals. That is what we're about. That is what 2024 is about. I'm telling you, we need to step outside of our comfort zones. We need to stop playing small and stop silencing ourselves. And this is how we're gonna do it. If you stick to the system and play it safe, it's gonna take you years to reach your goals if you even end up reaching your goals. Because we're promised all these things. If you work for this many years, if you work super hard, you're gonna get that raise, you're gonna get that promotion, you are gonna become this level of the company, then you can retire and then you can do all these things. But it doesn't happen. Or whose trajectory is that? Is that the trajectory that you want? Do you want to be working at a certain job and only to work your way up to be earning a certain amount and then be able to travel when you retire? Or do you want to live life on your own terms? And do you want to actually be the person that you dream of? We have all these people that we idolize, these celebrities, these people who have done amazing things. The reasons that they've reached those heights or that they've been able to do that is because they've taken risks and they were audacious. It isn't something that you can just throw yourself into a lot of times, especially if you aren't the most confident person or if you haven't really done things that have tested you or taken risks. It's a lot of inner work and I know I sound like a broken record with my videos and inner work, but trust me, if nothing changes, nothing changes. That quote will live with me forever and you have to change what's inside of you to change what's outside of you. You have to change your self-perception, what you think is possible and what you think you are capable of. And then you will be able to really change your world. In more Gen Z or trending words, you need to be delusional. You need to think outside the box. And I have a video on the lucky girl syndrome and a lot of other videos on mindset where I go deeper into this topic and I can make more of course too. But trust me, being delusional, thinking big and just thinking that anything is possible works. I swear it works. So you're not that confident. You don't feel like you can be audacious. You wear what you think will kind of silence you or make you not stick out. You don't want to be caught in a crowd and be different. You're scared of it, but subconsciously that is exactly what you want. You want to be different. You want to stick out. You want to do different things, but you're scared of it. This is how we're going to change your mind and kind of shift you into that ability of being able to be true to yourself and not let yourself be the biggest obstacle because many times, I think all the time, we are our own biggest obstacles and there are certain steps you can take to build your courage, to build your confidence and I have done these. I still do them every day. I'm still working on it. We're all a work in progress here. But the first thing is building your confidence. Nothing builds your confidence more than keeping promises to yourself. So that's habits, routines, telling yourself, hey, I'm gonna go for a walk in the morning tomorrow, I'm going for that walk in the morning, or telling yourself that you're gonna be in bed by a certain time, keeping that promise, or that you're gonna wake up at a certain time, or that you're gonna journal, or all these little things, they build who you are, and when you can trust yourself, there's nothing that can make you more confident because you've got your own back. And if you got your own back, that's all you need. A great way to tangibly do this is to set clear goals. What do you wanna accomplish this week, today, this month, this year? Where do you wanna be a year from now? What kind of lifestyle do you want? What do you want to be doing? Who do you want around you? All of these things. Now, how are you gonna get there? It's really daunting to think about your big goals, but I always love to measure my short-term goals versus my long-term goals. A lot of times, especially growing up, I would travel and do things that were seen as reckless by my family, but little did they realize that it was all part of the plan. There was a method to the madness and every single thing that I did brought me to where I am today from what I studied, the trips that I took, what I was doing with my life, how I was partying. I partied a lot when I was 
in high school and college but i was never doing it like thinking oh like i just want to party and do things and whatever i was networking i was exploring myself i was exploring different things and that all kind of served me and the life that i have now so the path to get there isn't always clear but if you know the intention you set it and you take the steps the small steps to get there every day all of these little things will serve you and end up becoming a snowball effect to bring you closer to the person that you want to be and build your confidence. Second step is receiving. You need to get comfortable with receiving. So many of us are really good at giving. We feel awkward receiving. I was in this position for a really long time. I started working at a very, very young age. I was around 11 when I started working and I have been working since. I was really responsible for myself. I had to take care of myself and I didn't have anyone to really go to to get help from. So I was like, I got it, I can take care of myself, I don't need help. But when I started shifting that narrative and being comfortable with receiving and asking questions and asking for help when I needed it, my life did a 180, I swear. It's crazy when you are open to receiving that you're able to give more and more opportunities come into your life and everything is a flow of energy. And if you can't receive, you are blocking that energy from entering you and if you're only giving and not receiving, you are depleting yourself. And now I'm able to receive and I accept it and I'm grateful for it and I show that gratitude to the universe and then it comes back to me. And then when people ask me for things, I'm able to give to them as well. So it's not just about receiving and taking and being greedy, but it's about receiving where you can and then giving where you can all of these other things especially being a content creator i get a lot of people messaging me on linkedin or other places asking for help and i'm able to give to them so if someone's coming to you and asking you for help with something it's because they value your opinion they see you in a different light than you may see yourself don't undermine yourself it's so easy to someone says oh you're so good at blah 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 and no i'm not like i'm i'm okay whatever you are blocking that blessing you're blocking that energy so get comfortable with really allowing it to come and embodying it and believing that you are the person that they think you are and you are worthy of everything that's coming into your life the third probably most important thing in this video is resilience and not being afraid to fail. I talk about it all the time and I cannot stress it enough. Analysis paralysis or inaction is the enemy. If you do not try, you will never know. I have been taught resilience through life at a very young age. I think my childhood was so intense and I don't wanna say it was horrible, but I had a lot of lessons in my childhood that taught me to stand back up on my feet, try again, keep going, because I could have given up at a lot of time, but I didn't and it got better. And that proved to me that, hey, if I can get out of that, I can do anything. And that's why I am not afraid to travel, I'm not afraid to try new things, to explore new career paths, like, this week, for example, I've always wanted to dance. I've always wanted to learn to dance salsa and samba and bachata and all of these like Latin dances and also just get in touch with my body, like learn how to move my rhythm. I don't naturally have great rhythm, but I want to work on it. I, that's something that is a personal goal of mine. And last week I went to a samba class with my friend and it was so fun to move my body and dance like that and just try something new. Starting new things is always gonna be difficult and hard and you're always gonna be bad at it. But it's after you start the thing and you keep going and you're consistent with it and you keep that promise to yourself, like I said, that your confidence grows and that your skill set grows and that you have more space to be even more audacious because you now know a new skill and not only that you're mastering a new skill and failing at something only teaches you what is not meant for you and what direction you should go in i failed at so many things i failed at business ideas that i've invested honestly quite a lot of money into and time and energy and all these things but I failed and what did I do? I took that experience and I moved forward and tried something else and I was like, okay, that's not for me, maybe this is. And it's taught me so much about myself, but also about where I'm going and what my superpower is. So 
please don't be afraid to fail. I see so many people around me who just freeze. Like there's fight, flight, of course, and then there's freeze and fawn. Freeze is when you tense up, you get stuck in that analysis paralysis, you don't want to try something because you're afraid of failure. And fawning is when you don't know how to do things for yourself and you're really asking and seeking that help. Going along with freeze and failure, it's better to try something and fail at it than it is to never try it. And it's really hard to have that, get out of that nervous system reaction, especially if you've been through a lot or you're stuck in that parasympathetic response of freeze. But getting past that, sitting with yourself, sitting with your thoughts and really understanding why are you so afraid of it and what will be the worst outcome if you do try it is going to be profound and you can work through this with yourself with journal prompts with shadow work but I highly recommend also working through it with a therapist if you can afford one I have a therapist and she is honestly amazing and breaks my boundaries and really like gives me breakthroughs every time we talk so could not recommend that enough we're on to being audacious this is the fun part so I want you to think about your dream life what do you want to do with your life? Where do you want to live? What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? Who do you want to surround you? What do you want to be wearing? What do you want to look like? What is your self-concept? Get so clear with this and make a list. And then I want you to make a vision board. Go on Pinterest and figure out what pictures are inspiring to you. What draws your energy in? If something excites you, and I have another video on this, you are meant to have it. So you have these big goals but you don't know how to get there and you need to work towards getting there. You can't just go from zero to 100. You need to figure out, okay, so I want this luxurious lifestyle. I wanna travel, I wanna do these things. What kind of life do you need to build? Where are you right now? Maybe you're working a job that you don't like or maybe you are living in a city or hometown or not a place that inspires you. How are you gonna to move to the city that you want to move to? I personally want to move to New York really badly. I am taking the initiative myself to get there right now. And I just made another video that I posted about that. What skills and knowledge do you need to get there? If you want to enter a new industry or if you want to change your career or even build a business and you don't have the skill sets yet, there are thousands if not millions of courses available for you to build your skills. I have a course that you can take that will help you with all this called Girl Boss Abroad. It's linked in the description. But the wiser and more educated you are, the better off you are and the more secure you will be with yourself. And I strongly believe that. That's why I am taking those dance classes and I'm trying to enhance my skills in all these different areas and try new things because I want to be well-rounded. I want to know different parts about myself and the world. And that's also why I travel so much. Travel is also an incredible tool to build your confidence and become more audacious too. So now you are confident, you have your goals set and they are clear, you know what you need to do. You're taking the steps to get there and you are feeling good about yourself. Now it's the time to be audacious wear what you want, say what you want, do what you want, and not in a reckless way, and I'll get into that shortly, but in a way where you are not holding back. I personally have realized recently that I was holding back from my YouTube channel, from my content. I was beating around the bush with what I really wanted to say and what I really wanted to create and who I really am because I was afraid and I didn't even realize this. I think it was very subconscious that I was afraid of being seen and I was afraid of really letting who I am be put out there. And I would create all this content that was about travel and how to travel and all these things which is still so important and close to me and I'm still going to create that content especially for Girl Boss Abroad. But I also want to share content like this because I think that I have a gift and I have a message to share and I was not sharing it directly, but this can help so many people because it's about being audacious. It's about going after what you truly want unapologetically and in a way that really inspires others as well because by you sticking to what you want and going after what you want is going to be a trailblazer for 
all of those people behind you not only people watching you but also your family members we all have ancestral trauma to heal we all have things that were holding us back from our childhood but when we heal that and we still unapologetically go after what we want we will allow our generations to come to do the same and we'll also allow the people around us our friends and family to get inspired to live the life that they want to live and really go after what they want because at the end of the day we have this one short life and if we play it safe all the time or if we just follow that system that was made for us we're not going to actually feel fulfilled and I think that could be the worst thing in life I challenge you to talk to two or three people today message someone who inspires you who you look up to whether it's in your career or life in general you can message them on LinkedIn on Instagram and let them know that they inspire you and what it is about them that inspires you and who you are and what value you can bring to them because I don't want you to put them on this pedestal but rather I want you to see it as a mutually beneficial relationship and offer them help say hey how can I serve you or would love to talk about what I'm doing or how it relates to what you're doing or something like that and then I also want you to go outside and talk to a stranger when I moved to Vancouver a couple years ago I didn't know anybody I had just gotten broken up with the first week that I was there and I was completely devastated I was crying in my bed I was shaking I felt like throwing up I've never felt so bad before and on that day I was like Natasha you're gonna do two things you're gonna go outside for a walk and you're gonna get a coffee and you're gonna talk to three people and if you've ever been to Vancouver or in Canada people say people in Canada are very nice some of them are but they can be cold and like it's not a culture or a place where you can just go up to people and just start conversations and they're gonna receive it well especially I was living in downtown Vancouver and I'm from Austin Texas where people are so friendly and nice and welcoming so I went up to two people and they both shut me down and then the third person reluctantly talked to me but she ended up being quite nice and we actually became friends and got coffee again and hung out multiple times and she became one of my closest friends that I met when I was living in Vancouver and she also introduced me to other people and she was kind of like a rock for me in that phase of my life and it's just because I went up to her and started a conversation so do the hard thing and know that sometimes it's not gonna work out you have to take a risk and you might fail and people might shut you down but what someone does to you or how they act towards you says more about them than you lastly I want to talk about what being audacious is not being audacious is not being entitled it's not being rude and it's not being reckless i want to make that very clear because some people can be audacious and you see them and they're like you're like whoa like that was out of pocket how could they say that i'm not telling you to go quit your job tomorrow or i'm not telling you to go say a horrible thing to someone you know or to anybody in general i'm talking about being true to yourself being who you truly are in a way that doesn't harm others but rather lifts people up you want to add value to a room you don't want to take it away or pull people down do it in a way that serves you that just empowers you and allows you to really shine like you should and get to your goals reach those goals at a faster pace because there is no trajectory there's no set trajectory or way to do things no matter how much people tell us that there is or push us in a certain direction trust me if anyone knows about this it is me i'm indian and i was pushed in the trajectory of going into medicine and i was audacious by not following that path and it did freak my family out they were like what is she gonna do what is she doing traveling and all this stuff but there was a method to my madness <laughs> and i was confident in where i was going i didn't know exactly where i was gonna go but i knew what lifestyle i wanted and i knew what life i wanted to live by making this video and doing YouTube and making videos like this, I am fulfilling it and I'm manifesting that life for myself and I am being audacious. So trust me, there is no set way to live your life or to reach your goals. Do what feels right, follow your intuition and trust yourself in the process. And trust me, you will get there much faster and you will live a much more fulfilling life than if you do not. I hope you found this video really helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already, connect with me and click here for some more wisdom from my mind. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.